Hey, I want to thank each and every one of you for checking out this video. I'm really excited about this one. This is going to cover the top three types of spots to catch backwater fluke. And I'm not just talking about large numbers of them, I'm talking about targeting and catching some of the larger fish that are in the back bays. In some cases, bigger than a lot of people think. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go offshore and hit the wrecks or the really deep water to catch some really quality fish. All right, so let's just jump right into spot type number one, and that's a drop off. What you see here on the screen is a satellite view with a Navionics overlay. So you can see the land mass at the top, and then you can see the lines going horizontally here. Those lines are showing the contour lines at the bottom of the, underneath the water. So you can see where there are lines closer together, there's a more severe drop. And then when it's very few lines, like in this section, it's very flat. What I like to do is fish this drop off here, and whether you fish the top or the bottom of the drop-off really depends on which way the current's going. In this case, if the current is on the inbound uh, current or the, the rising tide, it's going to go generally from the bottom right up towards the, the top left and vice versa on the outgoing. So uh, it, it really depends on which way the current's going, which way the bait's being swept as to which side you want to fish. If you're unsure, fish the whole thing back and forth as you drift down the ledge. So we jump right into the first spot, and this is actually that exact location. You can see it pick up a really nice fluke right here. There's a beast of the day, 25. There you go. That is a fish. This was a great location for fishing a drop-off, uh, one of my favorite of the year, and it was actually very early in the season. Uh, in this case, it was it was essentially open water uh, with a channel right next to me, but this was a little off-channel, and the water was going anywhere from seven, 7 feet down to about 17 feet. And the way that the, the tide was pulling me out, uh, it pulled me right down that ledge, and this is where I picked up this uh, this nice fluke. Again, early season, early June. Uh, fluke in the backwaters. Alright, that's a big flatty. As everyone's trying to sink me. This location is pretty similar to the last. It's it's open water, uh, nice ledge drop off here, uh, just coming almost down the, the length of it, 
um, about midway, and uh, you can see the jet skis going by, so I'm pretty close to the channel, again, not in it, um, despite the absolutely terrible net job here, uh, it turned out to be a pretty solid hook, and I was able to pull it in, uh, kind of with the net, um, but another good example of fishing a drop off. Loop ball, the orange gulp grub. There it is. There we go. All right, so on to the second type of spot that is in the top three for backwater fluke fishing, and that's the point. And a point is generally accepted in freshwater and saltwater as, in, as a great location to target fish, and the reason is simple. Uh, in salt water, the way that you read it is if the tide is coming in on this particular point, the current is going in this direction and around the corner in this direction, and the fish will set up on the back side of that. As the bait is swept around the corner, the fish will, will wait in ambush, uh, and fluke are absolute ambush predators, and they're going to wait right there. And the bigger fluke, the smarter fluke, are going to sit right there, and that's where you want to target them. On the, uh, the opposite tide, just switch it up move from over here to over here and just fish this section in here and let it slide back a little ways to where the, the baits washing you'll find success almost every time all right so for this spot uh, the point that I'm actually fishing is behind me uh, when I'm fluke fishing I typically do not anchor up uh, I don't typically use a drift sock or anything like that to slow down my drift so I actually go with the uh, the current. In this case, it's a wind against the tide, so the current is coming from my back to the front. The wind is in my face, so every once in a while you'll see me pedal. Uh, but then, of course, as soon as I hook up, I don't care where I'm going. I'm just going to try to land that fish. So uh, the point is behind me, um, but actually very close. Yes, nice one. Twenty-one. There we go, twenty-one. So it's a good thing I'm keeping him. This point is fairly obvious. You can see the boat up there. That's literally right at the point. Um, it's only a couple feet deep there, but it's coming back into the channel. And you can see I'm casting up directly, like I said, right at the point and pulling it back to where the bait's washing and I hook up to a nice fish. Eighteen and a quarter. This is again that same point that I talked about earlier. Again, I'm facing uh, away from the point. You're gonna be like, what's your hurry? Back to Slow the down. point, and I'm drifting uh, actually go. towards it in this case, uh, from front to back. So I'm drifting backwards, end up picking up just a great fish, uh, 24 inch, um, which is in the back base, pretty nice size, and boy was it fat. So. Another good example of how fishing a point really works out well. Beast! To measure it? The mouth broke on this one, but from the grips. Is it 24? I caught it on the bucktail with the white gulp. Bottom? Yep. Yeah. 20, 24, almost exactly.
And now the third of the top three spots to target Fluke in the backwaters, and that's Hidden Depths. And I can show you with the perfect example in this picture of what a Hidden Depth is. In this case, I'm talking about this creek right here. And you can see at the bottom, boats can't get in. Um, and if they can, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a spring tide very high uh, to, to get over this, this entrance here. Um, and Navionics actually shows this as no depth throughout. It shows it as dry land. In reality, you have about a three foot uh, opening at, the, at high tide, it's about three feet to get in. But then it drops down to eight feet, and then it drops down to 15 feet. Then it drops down to uh, a little over 15, maybe 16 or 17 as you go to various spots back in the creek. So definitely worth checking out. And, and, and that's why I say it's hidden. Boats can't really find it because they can't get back there. People can't walk to this spot. But if you have a kayak and you're going to put a little bit of time in on the water and you see something like this, head back there, turn on that depth finder. Or if you don't have one, drop a line, see what you can see. But man, these were hidden depths. And as you'll see, some really nice fish hiding back in there. There you go. Yes. That's what I'm talking about right there. There you go. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. So this is really the top three spots for targeting fluke in the backwaters. As you can see, it's very successful getting some really quality sized fish. Um, and, and what I didn't show was the dozens upon dozens of other fish that I caught at this location. Others also still keep her size, just didn't make the video. Uh, for more information on, on how I catch fluke, Check out my other videos, which you can see on the playlist popping up on the screen right now. And of course, if you find value, hit that subscribe. Thanks.